Get full access to over 20,000 episodes with your free trial. My Outdoor TV. Sign up today. Fabian Schoener and Jern Alps are heading for their first hunting trip to Scotland. The scenic highlands and the challenges of hunting have attracted the two hunters. The object of their desires are trophy heads of seeker as well as red deer. Seeker deer are very elusive and can be hard to find, which makes stalking them a challenge. The shooting is often difficult too. Red deer is native to Britain and is the largest species of mammal found here. The seeker originates from Japan and has been released here in Scotland in the late 19th century. Due to the roughness of the terrain, the few roads can only be negotiated by a four-wheel drive vehicle. Welcome to Edinburgh. Jetzt sind wir endlich da. Endlich. Wir haben Leihwagen. Wetter ist perfekt, ein bisschen windig. Bist du heiß? Ich habe richtig Bock. Ich auch. Ja. Also, let's go. Lass uns jagen. Attacke. <lacht> Team Hornady ist am Start, Junge. Perfekt. Oh, fürchterlich. So, in diesem Sinne, es kann losgehen. Let's go, Jörn, GPS an und dann Attacke. Abfahrt zu den Ständen. After their arrival in Edinburgh, the two friends must get used to driving on the left side of the road and take their time to go south towards Seeker Terrain. Alter, ist das krass, wa? Ja. Wir waren. Lass uns mal überraschen, was uns da erwartet. Ich bin gespannt. Aber hätte ich gar nicht gedacht, dass hier auch so viele Hügel sind. Ich dachte, das ist hier echt platt. Aber guck mal an, das sind ja richtige ja. Berge. Also für mich auf jeden Fall. Für mich als ostdeutschen Flachland-Tiroler. Ja, wir haben auch nur den Harz. Zwei Meilen. Geil. Hm? Peebles. So, ich glaube, wir sind fast da. Auf jeden Fall sind ja. wir schon in Peebles. Hier soll unser Hotel sein. So, Ladies and Gentlemen, thanks for flying with German Scotch Air. Das ist Scotch Air. <lacht> Tontine Hotel. Wollen wir mal gucken, hä? Huh? Hey. The estate that, we're, that we stock on here is 10,000 acres and 70 to 80 percent of that is woodland. The rest of it is open hill. You tend to find that most of the seeker deer are in the woodlands, but you do sometimes get them out in the open hill. And it can be quite fun stalking seeker deer on the open hill. Every year we take in the region of between 35 and 55 stags off of the estate. Uh, and that's a mixture of mostly eight pointers, but we also get some smaller stags as well. Uh, you find with Sika when you're stalking, you've, you don't get many chances. And we try and encourage clients to the first chance they get, if, there's, if it may be in the morning, for example, it's been quiet, the animals haven't been moving, and they're maybe only there for a day, you encourage them to take a shot at even a, a small stag just so that they pull the trigger, which is important, because sometimes it's possible during a day that they might not get another chance. 
because it's just the way secret are. Sometimes it can be, they can be quite productive and other times they can be very difficult to stalk, as we all know. The, also, the secret deer in the Scottish borders, in this area, are probably the purest in Scotland. Uh, we don't have any crossing here with red deer, which is good. And that makes them more, increases the demand for hunting these animals because they are much more pure. I think they're difficult because they're much more intelligent than other deer. We find that in some of our forests, when they move from one place to another, some of them have learned to actually walk in the ruts made by the, the, the tree planters, which are maybe say three or four, deep, three or four feet deep and they will actually walk in these so that they're actually out of sight when they're moving from one place to another. Now, not many animals do that, and that's why we give them loads of respect. They're certainly a very intelligent animal. And they will also, as well, even seen it, when you've actually stalked in Seeker, they will actually stalk you as well in the forest and walk parallel with you as you're trying to stalk them. Now, they're definitely a, a very intriguing animal to stalk. It's 110 meters. Yes, okay. And there's a crosswind. Wir sind jetzt hier im Revier angekommen. Haben von der Firma Warten vom Will Wilcher hier einen neuen Silencer, einen Schalldämpfer bekommen. Und jetzt probieren wir mal, äh, wie die Treffpunktlage ist. Wir haben die Waffe vorher gezeroed, also quasi auf 100 Meter Fleck eingeschossen. Jetzt haben wir den Dämpfer montiert. Und da wollen wir einfach mal gucken. Wir machen mal ein, zwei Probeschüsse. Wir haben da auf 110 Meter eine Testscheibe. Ich messe lieber noch mal nach. Wir haben nämlich ein bisschen Wind heute. Drei vielleicht. So, we try one or two shots. Sent as a diamond. <laughs> it's okay. One more. Ah, another one. Now the second target is the head target. Yes. When that you go for that one because no, 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 nobody's had the chance to christen it yet. Okay. So we try the head. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's okay. You happy with that? I mean, I'm happy. Yes. That any deer at that distance is dead. Yes. <laughs> if it's fine for you, it's fine for me. Yes. Aye, fine for me. Yes. The dead deer. So, jetzt haben wir die Probeschüsse gemacht. Ich bin recht zufrieden. Der neue Burton Dämpfer funktioniert wunderbar mit der Creedmoor. Besser als ich gedacht habe. Zentral perfekt. Hat einen minimal Hochschuss. Ich denke vielleicht zwei bis drei Zentimeter maximal. Aber äh, das ist hier jagdlich und auf die Entfernung, auf die wir hier schießen wollen, überhaupt gar kein Problem. Und von daher ja, machen wir jetzt alles fertig. Ab ins Revier. Ich hab Bock auf Jagen. Lasst uns beginnen. Fabian ist heading for the terrain with Jake McWatt. In the beginning of their hike, it was easy to get around. But the seekers rarely stay at the most accessible places. They seem to prefer the most secluded spot, which is quite a good idea for getting old. Sehr gute Art und Weise des Pirschens bzw. des Stalkens. Das habe ich in den letzten Jahren auch schon ganz anders erlebt. Ich muss sagen, hat mir sehr gut gefallen. Unser Stalker ist natürlich ein absoluter Profi und weiß, was er hier macht. Jetzt haben wir uns hier ein kleines Plateau ausgesucht, auf dem wir relativ guten Überblick haben. Und so in alle Richtungen bis 300, 350 Meter schießen können. Aber jetzt wird beim Rangefinder hier in diese Richtung auf 180 Grad drei wichtige Punkte gesucht, dass ich eine grobe Entfernung habe, wenn es schnell gehen muss. Sind wir erstmal auf alle Entfernung eingerichtet, damit wir wie gesagt, schnell reagieren können. Jetzt werden wir hier erstmal ein bisschen warten und gucken, was passiert. Seeker is a very elusive species and often very difficult to approach. 
The best time of the year to hunt them is during the rut, when a skilled hunter can attract the stags. But even with the aid of a call, it is no easy task to get within range of a mature seeker stag. A seeker stag has answered Jake's call. However, there is no guarantee that the stag will come out in the open. Often the stags just stay between the trees and await the proceedings. I just heard a seeker calling, so I'm tr trying to give it two blasts, see if it can make it call back. Wir haben hier so ein bisschen über eine Stunde verweilt, beobachtet, haben wieder erwartend, sogar hier drüben aus dem Fichtenwald, zwei-, dreimal äh, einen Brumpflaut vernommen, dieses, dieses markante Pfeifen. Und daraufhin hat der Stalker dann reagiert und hat zwei-, dreimal nochmal den Brumpflaut erwidert. Äh, leider ohne Erfolg, weil ich vermute, dass der Wind sich hier in diesem Tal so ein bisschen geschlagen hat. Und das ist meine Vermutung, wie gesagt, ich meine, ich bin den ersten Tag hier, aber aus der Erfahrung her, hätte ich gesagt, der Wind schlägt sich hier etwas und der Hirsch wird andererseits über die Kuppe sein. A good trophy on a seeker is evenness. Normally, even the best stags can only be eight points. You can get nine, you can get ten. But the main factor is for the beast's head to be even. And that means the tines on each side to be more, to be the same size and also a good length. The width of the animal is also very important. And if all these factors add up properly, then you, that's how you get your your good heads. Uh, the important thing about seeker trophies is the weight doesn't matter. So if the head, if the actual, if the beam is thick, uh, or if the beam is thin, it doesn't matter if the beam's thin, it's not going to take any any points off your off your trophy at all, which is good. So you can have a, a quite a thin antlered animal and it can be a gold medal and you can have a very thick thick antlered animal maybe an animal going back and it just it won't even make a medal and yet it's very very thick if you want if you need to move by your side just lift okay and move okay okay up or down move. it's okay it's very stable Wir wollen jetzt pirschen gehen auf die Karte. Wir haben gerade unsere Ausrüstung gecheckt. Die Waffe geladen und es kann losgehen. Have you got a seeker call? Sorry. A seeker call. Yeah. Okay. Sounds very good. <laughs> Jörn Alpers and stalker Colin Johnson are also out stalking this morning. It is a policy on this terrain to always bring a tracking dog along on the hunt, in case of the hunter wounding a stag. Colin constantly checks the surroundings in his binoculars, and now he has spotted a hind with a calf more than 500 meters away in the valley below. Wir hatten gerade Anblick, den ersten Anblick des Tages, vielleicht vier bis 500 Meter entfernt. Es geht los. Apart from the hind earlier, Colin and Jörn haven't seen any animals at all this morning. Unfortunately, the weather is a little too warm for the seekers to be really active and therefore easier to find. However, Colin caught a glimpse of something, which might be a seeker. Colin konnte gerade einen wirklich starken Achter ausmachen. Leider dreht der Wind hier ständig in dem Tal. Und 
Ja, wir haben ihn leider nicht mehr zu Gesicht bekommen. However, no seekers appear and the two hunters decide to continue their stalk. The two hunters' best chance is to stalk through the different types of terrain for a few kilometers, hoping to find a seeker out in the open. If nothing else happens this morning, the two hunters have at least had the joy of taking a closer look at the beautiful landscape and its varied flora. When in the trees, the hunters must react very swiftly. However, Colin instructed Jörn only to take broadside shots to reduce the risk of just wounding the stag. Colin has spotted a seeker hind and a calf crossing the road, and there is a good chance that a stag will follow them. So he decides to put up the shooting sticks, so Jörn is ready to make a good shot if a chance arises. However, luck is apparently not on the hunter's side today. So they decide to continue their stalk to a place where they can overlook a larger area. If it's warm and the beasts don't seem to be triggered, they doesn't trigger the rutting process and the animals are, are silent, and it's what we call a silent rut. And you find during the silent rut, they still go through the process of mating, but they're not making any noise, and you find it much more difficult to locate the animals. And usually the silent rut is when it's mild and warm. The optimum conditions for Sika are really cold and frosty weather. That's when we get the best results, and they're more vocal then. And it means that when you're out stalking in the forest, you can hear them, and it's much easier to pinpoint the animals. Another important point is that the stags, the big stags especially, have rutten stands, which I've, I, me and my friends have found out. And this is because they find the safest place to be and where the best, safest wallows are. They don't get bothered, less chance of being bothered by hunters because the cover's very thick. Whereas the smaller eight-pointers, eight they tend to move around a lot because they get pushed on by the big stags. In another valley far from Colin and Jörn, Fabian Schöner and Jake McWatt are out stalking too. As there is not much activity this morning, the two hunters decide to find a spot where they can oversee a large area and then try to lure out a mature seeker stag by imitating the sound of a competing stag. Meanwhile, Fabian gets ready in case a stag appears, even at a distance. Bipods are a great advantage here, but it can be a little time consuming to put them up properly if you're not on flat ground.
Fabian has adjusted his scope so the impact is dead on at the edge of the forest, where the hunters expect the stag to reappear. A steep angle of shooting will affect the bullet's path by making it go higher than if the shot was horizontal. However, Fabian does not need to take this effect into consideration here due to the relatively short range. The difference in bullet path is without any significance under these circumstances. Even though Jake is trying his very best to challenge the stag and make him come out into the open, the calls seem not to trigger the old stag. But as the experienced hunter Fabian is, he knows that he must keep up his concentration and constantly scan the edge of the forest. The stag can appear anywhere in the valley in an instant. As nothing has happened for a long while, the two hunters' hopes of a chance to take the old stag are slowly dwindling. But suddenly, their persistence is finally rewarded. He's coming. Ready? Ready? He's coming. Yeah. He's coming. Wait, 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 wait. He's coming. Is no fun. You remember I talked to you about my favorite shot? Oh, geil. Eigentlich wollten wir jetzt abbrechen und Frühstück. Oh, eigentlich wollten wir abbrechen und Frühstück und Mittag machen, weil hat bis eben so ein bisschen genieselt und wir waren nicht so recht zuversichtlich, ob es was bringt. Dann waren wir so 200 Meter weiter an so einem sehr aussichtsreichen Rumpfplatz und Jake hatte einmal gecallt und war nichts und dann hatte ich irgendwas, das war dann so links hinter uns, irgendwas gehört, so und er meinte Sieger, ich sag weit, weit weg, äh, nein, 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 ein alter Sieger, okay, so, sagt er, komm, wir gehen nochmal zurück, wir haben uns vor einer halben Stunde genau diese Stelle angeguckt und konnten sehen, dass frisch geschlagen war. So haben wir gesagt, okay, wir probieren. Und als wir gerade um die Ecke kamen, habe ich nur geguckt und da lag der Sicker an seiner Brumpfkuhle äh, und hat sich halt, wie gesagt, hat seine Brumpfkuhle geschlagen und zog dann hinter die Fichten und war halt kurz weg. Und es hat, dann haben wir gesagt, okay, ich habe mich fertig gemacht, bin in Position gegangen. Das war geil. Position gegangen und der Hirsch kam raus, ich war sofort drauf, aber da muss noch mal wie so, eine, ja, wie so, ein, so ein Abgrund noch mal sein, dann war er weg. Ich konnte nur die Spitzen von seinem, von seinem Geweih sehen und sagte Jay, kein Problem, ich call ihn, ich call ihn. Hat er zweimal gecallt, dann konnte ich die Spitzen sehen, die kamen hoch und dann war er jetzt auf 80 Meter, 85 Meter kam er und Jake hat gesagt, sobald er frei ist, Feuer. Und er stand draußen und schon hat es geknallt. Oh. Geil. Echt geil. Ich habe nicht mit, ich 
ich bin mega zuversichtlich in den Morgen gestartet, gerade nach dem geschossenen Rehbock. Aber ganz ehrlich, bei dem Wetter, ich habe nicht damit gerechnet. Ich weiß nicht, wie es mir mehr ist. Ja, das ist gut. Es ist gut, dass sie am Drop. Ein bisschen hart Arbeit repeat, ein gut Schuss. Ich habe den Big Stag nicht quite a Roar, aber mehr als ein Moan. Und dann, als ich den Moan hörte, wusste ich, dass ich hierher kam. Das war, als ich hier war, weil ich wusste, dass das ein Waller war. So when I heard the moon, I knew he was going to be there or thereabouts, and it's a good vantage point to take the shot. Plus, if he, I knew it was a good chance he would respond to the call. Yeah. So once we were settled, we were lucky that he came straight to us. Yes, me too. And just as well I had somebody that could shoot. And after the very interesting stalk yesterday, I'm very lucky to have a stalker like Jake, yes. I think I think he know he know what he do. <laughs> Yesterday it was a little bit testing for us, <laughs> and today he say See, no. See that seeker? No. Seeker yes. just that's, can make a fool of you very easily. That's, and it can turn just right. Absolutely, like that. absolutely sure. That's the seeker hunt. Yes. Jeder Zeit kann alles passieren. Yes. Wahnsinn. Lass uns gucken gehen. Yeah. Every. All over the fresh shit. Here, here. Bester Schweiß. Okay. Hat der Kollege eine Rolle rückwärts gemacht. Can you hold the film that you take a photo? Can I take a photograph? Yeah, I'll take a photograph for you with that. That's a good stag, good eight pointer. We've it broken there, but it's still a nice head. It's a good, a typical, nice, a good example of a seeker yeah. to have on your wall. Bin überglücklich, top Schuss. Da, wo ich ihn hin haben wollte, dass er ganz sicher zu Boden geht. Gut, jetzt hier ist natürlich steil bergab. Uh, Ich bin überglücklich, mein erstes Stück Siegerwild und top. Gute Achter, mega interessante Pirsch. Vielen, vielen Dank, Jake. Thank you very much for the stalk. Not a problem. Yes. Thank you. It was good fun. I enjoy all the time, yes. Ich bin überglücklich. Jetzt kommt der andere Teil der Arbeit. Jetzt geht es da oben rauf. Yep. Yep. Stop. Oh. Stop. Yeah. Bad enough when it's a hind. Yeah. Up to there. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh. Stop there. Hold it. One, two, three. Okay. Come, 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 on. Okay. Okay. Down. Good boy. Up past that clump of grass. A one, two, three. After a long haul up the slope, the two hunters have finally dragged the stag close enough to the car so the rope of the winch can reach it. A mature stag like this weighs around 70 kilograms. And this makes it quite a task, even for two hunters, to drag the carcass up the many steep slopes here in Scotland. Earlier, Highland ponies were used for bringing home the carcasses. But this was an expensive and time-consuming way to do it. So cars are used nowadays. Although they cannot go everywhere, like the ponies can. Everyone who has tried to drag a carcass in this terrain will send a friendly thought to the man who invented the car winch. Oh. Again. Enough? Hi. Right. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, just oh, drive back. If you drive back, I'll hold its head, you see. Well, Fabian, we finally got it up the steep banking. Uh, your first seeker stag. So, what's your impressions of it? Yes, I'm very, very, very happy about this. I'm very happy to learn a new kind for stalking. So, in Germany, I live in very flat terrain, and <laughs> <laughs> we go up and down and up and down and up and down. So, it's I think for me very hard hunt for you it's a typical the the only way for hunt to stalk or sit in the boxes to to watch them to spot them and i'm very happy i have more than one new experience and <laughs> it's perfect it's good for me to see yes. you place the bullet in the yeah. right spot yeah, yeah and for the animal to go down and not run far and yes. not suffer as well yes i think our equipment works perfect. The Savage Rifle, the Barton Moderator fits perfect. Our rifle scope from Leupold and the bullet. It's a 6.5 Creedmoor from Honadi and it's a new ELGX bullet. I'm happy the bullet works with the, with the rifle and the works on the, on the, at the game. So the stock is happy. I'm happy. Happy days. Junge! Weidmann Zeit. Weidmann Zang, hat gut geklappt. Schön. Aber harte Bewegung, so. Ja. Unten geschossen, also von oben runter geschossen, so hoch. Boah, Alter. War richtig fett, aber geil. Ja, so ist das. Wenn zwei Buddies <lacht> nach Schottland fahren zum Jagen. Fabian's success was a great start of the two friends' hunting adventures here in scenic Scotland. They have already learned a lot about the challenges which confront a hunter here, and they look forward to many more during the upcoming days. In the next episodes, the two friends continue their quest for Scotland's major game species, the seeker, the red stag, and even the famed and fast-flying grouse.